Hello. I'm Sipana Kamchana. Currently, I'm pursuing B.Tech third year in information technology as a mainstream in GMRIT Rajam. The paper I will be presenting today is titled Machine Learning Approaches for Sentimental Analysis of Product Reviews. Coming to the abstract, um, people nowadays use internet platform for exchanging the ideas, sharing the opinions, um, uh, sharing the opinions. Uh, so these uh, huge amount of the data will be extracted from the internet. It is difficult for the users or the companies or the developers uh, to extract the needful information from these huge amount of the data. So to overcome this difficulty, our main goal is to uh, propose an approach to overcome these uh, difficulties and to automatically um, uh, classify whether the reviews is positive or negative. For this, we use sentimental analysis. Sentimental analysis is a machine learning tool uh, which is used to extract, uh, which is used to uh, extract the opinion of the users or the attitude of the users from the uh, reviews or the text. So here, uh, for analyzing the sentimental analysis, there are three methods, lexicon-based analysis and the machine learning-based analysis and the hybrid approach. These are the three methods. Uh, we prefer machine learning techniques for uh, applying the sentimental analysis. These are the keywords, sentimental analysis, machine learning, NLP, naive-based, and SVM, NLP. Coming to the introduction. Nowadays, everything is online. Uh, everyone have a mobile. So there is a fast growth of the e-commerce websites. So these all are unstructured and uh, unprocessed. So we have to process these data and we have to, uh, we have to analyze whether the reviews is uh, good or I mean positive or the negative. Here reviews plays an important role in any companies or the uh, any com product based companies but because reputation of the company or the quality of the product are based on these reviews only. Here we use machine learning techniques which uh, machine learning techniques like uh, SVM and the naive base. These are all supervised machine learning techniques and uh, that's why we choose uh, machine learning supervised machine learning techniques for classifying these reviews. And we take the data from the various websites like Twitter and Facebook or the Amazon product reviews or the Flipkart to apply this sentimental analysis. Coming to the literature survey, the first paper, this, base pa this is the base paper, which mainly focuses and compares all the uh, machine learning techniques. Uh, which are uh, used uh, uh, mainly uh, in this classification. Here, this, is, uh, this mainly focus on the, uh, when there is a high dimension of the data and where is a unprocessed data, there may be effect of the, um, there may be effect of the accuracy of the classification. So to improve the accuracy of the classification and the outputs, uh, this paper mainly focus on the pre-processing of the data and uh, convert these data high dimension to the low dimensional data and feature extraction to improve the accuracy. And coming to the second paper, the author, STM, here these author mainly focus on the machine learning techniques, uh, supervised techniques, uh, because uh, un, when compared to the unsupervised techniques, uh, it, this paper tells that uh, supervised techniques use the accuracy better than the unsupervised techniques. So for this, it uses the tool uh, statistical analysis system uh, for these um, feature extraction and these uh, machine learning techniques. And the third paper mainly focused that um, when compared to the traditional uh, sentimental analysis techniques and the machine learning techniques, uh, it gives best result uh, uh, for the machine learning techniques rather than um, traditional uh, sentimental analysis. Traditional is nothing but lexicon-based analysis. Lexicon-based analysis means uh, it uh, gives the result based on the count of the uh, uh, count of the words. Uh, uh, like if the text have a lot of the words, uh, based upon the count of the positive words and the negative words, it gives the results. So there may be a chance of getting the wrong result based on this count-based system. So. Here, this paper mainly tells about uh, compared to the traditional basic technique, uh, machine learning techniques use the best result. It takes neighbors and the SVM. And coming to the fourth paper, this is mainly focused on the feature extraction. Feature extraction is nothing but extract the useful features for the classification from the file. Uh, 
uh, here uh, this fifth paper mainly focus on the cleaning of the data cleaning of the data is nothing but pre processing of the data Reprocessing means cleaning of the data and organize the data from uh, uh, unclean data to the clean data. And coming to the sixth paper, it uses the SVM and NAVIS compare these uh, classification techniques. And coming to the seventh paper, this mainly focus on um, advanced techniques uh, using graph for uh, same analyzing the techniques. Um, this paper compares the all machine learning techniques like uh, it uses nine paper mainly focus on the hybrid approach. Hybrid approach is nothing but combination of the lexicon-based analysis and the machine learning approach. And uh, the last paper mainly uh, tells about how to optimize the machine learning techniques are far better than uh, uh, traditional or the other techniques. Coming to the methodology, this flow diagram uh, mainly tells about the methodology in four steps. First step is data set, collection of the data from various uh, uh, websites or the various uh, e-commerce websites or like. And this the pre-processing involves the main six uh, uh, steps to perform the pre-processing well and followed by feature extraction. It uses term frequency, inverse document frequency for feature extraction. And at last it uses classification. Uh, for classification, it is naive based and support vector machine algorithm for classification. Simply on methodology in four steps, collection of the data and reprocessing, feature extraction, and then classification. Here, data preprocessing. Data preprocessing is, preprocessing is a cleaning and organizing the data uh, to get the uh, useful data by removing all the unnecessary data. Here it involves six steps. Transforming all the data into the lower case means uh, here data may have uh, uh, uppercase and the lower case we convert all the te text into the lower case only this is the example and reconstructing the sentence uh, here there, uh, there will be shortcuts in the uses of the english so we have to convert all these uh, day, uh, i mean shortcuts to the understandable uh, meaningful way to which is understandable to the mission like i will it uh, convert to the i w i l l will Likewise, meaningful word. What tokenizing? Uh, tokenizing is just simply break the text into the set of words. So likewise, it uh, convert all the sentence into the words. And then misspell words. If there is any misspell words, it cut the it cut into it cut the words and remove of the stop word. Stop words is nothing but which are the words not extract any sentiment. These words are not useful for the sentimental analysis. So we have to remove all these words. Word lambdaising is simply producing a root word, which is in the dictionary, means correct word of the uh, word. And come to the second step, feature extraction. As I said, feature extraction is extracting the useful information, uh, uh, useful features from the all the from all the files or the collection of the data. It's simply extracting the features from data is a feature extraction. We use bag of words and the TF-IDF. Here bag of words first converts all the data into vectorization. Means here classifier only takes the input if it is in the vector form. So it convert first it you a vectorization, it done vectorization. Mm, there is an advantage of BOW is if there is a no really, I mean, if there is a strong, there is no strong relation in between the contextual data, um, it takes and uh, it, uh, it, I mean, it extracts the useful features, but there is a disadvantage like um, it tells what, uh, I mean, uh, it tells what words are occurring in the document, but it doesn't uh, tell where they're occurring. So that's a disadvantage. That's why we use TF-IDF for feature extraction in this. So here, term frequency, inverse document frequency means, term frequency means uh, how frequently a word occurring in the document. Inverse document free frequency means how rarely a word occurring in the document. So here in the name itself tells how frequently a word, how rarely a, a word is occurring. So by this uh, feature extraction technique, we came to know that which features are important, which features have the highest priority and which features have the lowest priority and which we have to select by the sentimental analysis and the classification. So that's why. Uh, we, by using the TF-IDF, we assign the priority values to the all the features, like it is very useful when the classification. 
and here coming to the classification we use two algorithms naive base and the svm naive base is a supervised machine learning algorithm um which is a, which is also known as a probabilistic algorithm why because it is based on the base theorem base theorem is nothing but calculating the probability based on the prior conditions so here it uh, naive base calculates the probability of the every word and uh, tells and it classifies the result so that's why it uses the base theorem this is the formula for that here first it it, it um, done the process at sentiment sentence level here uh, it means it just prob it just calculate the probability at the word level it means for each word it uh, takes the probability but there is the another difficulty like if uh, there is a, any um if there is a new sentence doesn't exist a, a word in the training set so there is a probability zero when this uh, type of uh, a situation occurs so likewise uh, for this also it overcomes this problem also overcomes by using the laplace smoothing here laplace smoothing is nothing but adding the plus 1 to every probability of the word Uh, so if there is a any probability of the word becomes zero there is no problem because there is a plus one we added so the probability one so there is a not affecting of the whole equation or the output so likewise or p it enables overcome all the difficulties and gets the output efficiently at last uh, we calculating the probability of every word and then we choose a uh, max of the positive sentence and negative sentence likewise it uh, calculates whether the sentence is a positive or negative and uh, coming to the second svm support vector machines support vector machines is used for both classification and regression here it is a supervised machine learning algorithm it uses the uh, it it, it uh, try to get the best line uh, to categorize the data here uh, this hyper the best line is nothing but hyperplane this hyperplane is try to categorize the data into the classes whether it is a positive or negative there is a super vectors here these are the super vectors super vectors is the nearest points to the hyperplane here there is a two parallel lines which is drawn by the base of the hyperplane these are the marginal planes these marginal planes passes through the support vectors only so by this whenever there is a new data occurs it easily categorize uh, that whether it is a positive class or the negative class so the positive class or the negative class Uh, we can uh, ca calculate the distance by the formula. Here, uh, coming to the results, I you I mean we use confusion matrix uh, to uh, to I mean to show the performance matrix. The confusion matrix means it uh, you it uh, it tells about the performance matrix means uh, how well our model is predicting. Here, this uh, confusion matrix for naive base and this is confusion matrix support vector. here this uh, we use uh, heat map for uh, showing the results here these light colors uh, tells about how correctly our model is predicting these dark colors is tells about how wrongly our model is predicting so it gets the high values so we compare these two algorithms by this confusion matrix here uh, in confusion matrix there is a, a precision recall f1 to calculate the accuracies here uh we for calculating the accuracies we use the confusion matrix matrix precision recall f measure so we get the accuracy of the 84% in naive base and we get the accuracy 87% in support vector machine learning here these are the results of our model coming to the conclusion we use two algorithms for classification Uh, SVM and the naive base. Here, uh, by calculate, I mean by as per the results, the SVM gives the best results. But here, whenever there is a, a large data set, it takes lot of time for training. Here, naive base, here naive base and SVM are the best in their own ways. So when there is a large data, naive base is the best because it takes the less training time. So it easily, uh, it is it um, time efficient. and uh, coming to the svm it is a memory efficient because it only stores the support vector data points only so whenever there is a less uh, less idea i mean when we have a less idea on the data we use the svm so likewise we use svm naive base for the classification of the uh, previous i'm um, through sentimental analysis 
these are the references what we are used 